All right, I'm Steve Schmidt, I'm 60, um, and I guess I'm here to talk about being one of many Steve Schmidts, and the trials and tribulations are the joys thereof. <laughs> I am Steve Schmidt, and I'm certainly not alone. There's hundreds of us, possibly thousands, located all over the globe. Through a quick Google search about 10 years ago, I came to the realization of the sheer number of people who share my name. But what else do they share? My aspirations? My middle name? My part of the world? While pondering ideas for a master's project to complete my graduate degree in interactive communications at Quinnipiac University, it was that last question that spearheaded an initiative that would send me on a six-month quest to get a glimpse into the worlds of other Steve Schmitz. But not just any. As someone who lives a two-hour train ride from New York City, I wanted to limit my search to those who shared the distinction of living in the New York metro area. An idea was born. I started my career as a newspaper journalist, so I was well aware of the digital age sea change that was taking place within the media in all forms of communication well before I stepped on campus in the fall of 2009. Mainstream media outlets have been downsizing across the board for the last 10 years, causing more and more media professionals to work as freelancers who are trying to make names for themselves. I chose to pursue my master's degree at Quinnipiac in large part to figure out exactly where I belonged in this changing landscape. What is your self-brand? What is your online identity? What is your digital voice? These questions have been posed to me in various forms since I joined the program. While I did not have an exact answer for these questions, I imagined it would be harder for me to create a voice that resonated online among a cacophony of other voices of people who not only shared my career aspirations, but also from another group who had the most recognized form of identity in common with me. As a media professional seeking a full-time job in the New York metro area, this could be a problem, or at least a concern. How do you create a self-brand with a common name? How do you stand out among a crowd who the rest of the world groups together simply due to the commonality of strands of letters? Enough with the questions. It was time to go find some answers. I'm certainly not the first person who's grappled with such thoughts. I came across the 2007 documentary, Google Me, which tells the story of a man named Jim Colleen who decides to travel across the world in order to meet those who share his name. Being a graduate student, I was operating on a much, much smaller budget. I filmed everything using two digital handheld cameras, a tripod, and a lapel microphone. And even if I had a larger travel budget, I wanted to have a local focus concerning people who I might actually run into or be mistaken for who live in my area. My last name, Schmidt, is the German equivalent of Smith, the most common surname in the United States. Although I'm sure there are more Steve Smiths out there, than Steve Schmitz. After all, there's two wide receivers in the National Football League with that name who happen to be both born in Los Angeles. There's certainly an army of us out there as well. There are at least 300 of us on Facebook, either spelling the formal version of our name, S-T-E-V-E-N, or my preference, S-T-E-P-H-E-N. There are approximately 380 Steve Schmitz on LinkedIn including about 20 in the New York City area alone. I wanted to try to contact these Steves through those two main social networking sites. I would later amend my means by sending out traditional letters in the mail. I ended up reaching out to 37 Steve Schmitz, either by email or letters when all was said and done. Six men expressed interest. One had second thoughts. One never did get back to me. But four Steve Schmitz said yes. One from New Jersey, two from New York, and one from Connecticut. Then there's me to complete the quintet. The videos that follow are those stories. They are preceded by a sixth video that serves as a conclusion to the project. Enjoy, and by all means, feel free to interactively communicate with me by sending me your feedback. <laughs> 